How are you students? I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to learn a new topic by the name Area Approximation. Uh, in our topic, we are going to learn how we can be able to approximate the areas using some few techniques. Now we are going to learn about three techniques, but for this lesson we are going to do one. The first one, as you can see on the board, it is called counting method or counting technique. The second one is trapezium rule. The third one is middle limit rule. So straight away, we are going to start with the counting method or counting technique. In this counting technique, we are going to learn how we can estimate the area of irregularly shaped objects that has been drawn on a data. And I'm assuming that this regularly shaped object has been drawn in, our, in an exercise book or in a small material that, can, that is representing a bigger area. So let's take an example. I will draw something small to represent uh, an irregularly shaped uh, object on my on the board. Well, that is irregularly shaped object. We may not be able to get its area by using a formula. But we can be able to use counting method or counting technique so that we can get this area. So the first thing that we are going to do is to subdivide the area it is covering into squares measuring one centimeter each. The assumption here is each square is measuring one centimeter by size. So the first thing we are going to check how many full squares that object is enclosing. How many full squares do we have? Then later we shall check the number of incomplete squares. Then we are going to get its area. And before we do that, we are taking an assumption that the scale for this object is 1 is to 100,000. So we are going first to count the number of full squares and also the incomplete squares. So this one is incomplete, so I put an X. I put an X since it's also incomplete. I put an X, X. X, X, this one is a full square, so I put a tick, I put a tick, I put an X because this is also in complete square. I also put an X, I put an X, I put an X, I put a tick. This one is in complete, so it's an X. This one is in complete, this one is in complete, this one is a full square. This is a full square, this one is incomplete, 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 this one is incomplete. All these others are not in touch, so I don't need to put a mark on them. So we are going to count the number of full squares now. So I write Beep. <laughs> 
So the number of whole squares, we are going to count them together. This is one, two, three, four, five. So they are five. The number of incomplete squares, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well, when we are using this formula of counting technique, we are going to use some kind of formula to get the area of this object. And the formula is the number of full squares plus the number of incomplete squares divided by 2. Uh, the number of full squares in our case was 5 plus the number of incomplete squares they are 20 so I divide it by 2 and well this is going to be 5 plus 10 and the answer is going to be 15 square centimeters remember this object was a representation it was given as scale so we have to really get the exact area of this object because it was a drawing, a representation on a scale. Remember our scale, it was one centimeter is to, is to 100,000 centimeters. This is a linear scale. We need to change it to a area scale, so it means one square centimeter is equivalent to and um, we multiply this so square centimeters so I can say one square centimeter is equal to 10 billion square centimeters this is our area scale factor. Now, our area of the drawing we have got as 15. So I ask myself, what about 15 square centimeters? It's going to be equivalent to what? So I'm going to do my cross multiplication, and it's going to be 15 times 10 billion. And this is going to be 150 billion square centimeters. Now, well, once I have these units, I can be able to change them to whichever the, the, the units that I want. For example, if I wanted the area in square kilometers, I can still use the conversions to get the area in square kilometers. Thank you.